Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on the Gigabyte OC Guru 2 utility. In particular, we're going to be overclocking the Gigabyte GeForce, GeForce GTX 750 Ti Win Force Edition graphics card. And so I'm going to show you the software. I'm going to show you the settings that we used to overclock the card. I'm also going to show you uh, a run, beginning run of heaven, and the end results of heaven at that overclock so that you can see that it really did run through. So let's take a quick look at the software first. What we have here is five profiles that you can set for different tasks. You have a lock button which locks all the settings so you can't accidentally change them, an apply button, a cancel button, and a default to send the card back to defaults, which right now we're at with a 1033 base clock, 1111 megahertz boost clock, and 5400 megahertz memory clock. You also have a help button, a minimize, and an exit button here. Online support by clicking down here in the bottom right corner. You have your on-screen display with your hotkey of control plus F1. Settings for that so you can enable it or disable it. The Change the hotkey, change a screenshot key, change the temporary location. You can also adjust screen settings in here. On all these screens there's this little button here to go back to the main screen. Moving over to the left we have our resolution which is currently at 1920 by 1080 and 60 megahertz refresh rate. We have settings under there as well. You have your fan speed. Right now we're set to a manual fan profile. So if you go into settings you can change that to auto or you can set the manual fan, fan profile. I have adjusted the profile just a little bit here um, just for while I was overclocking to make sure that I did not overheat my card by accident and so at 60 degrees the fan speed does go up to 100 percent right now. We have monitoring mode so monitoring shows you quick stats here if you click more you get another window with graphs and everything for all of the things that the program can monitor. You also have a record button which will record the, all this information to a log file and settings for that what is shown and where the log file goes of course the most important things in this tool are our GPU clock our memory clock our core voltage and our target so with our GPU clock and this model graphics card I was actually able to max out this utility to 135 megahertz and also a hundred megahertz for the memory clock. So a couple things you can do here. You can use the buttons here to adjust it or you can type the number in. You can see I'm clicking the button here and it's not going any higher so I have maxed out this utility. And to achieve this overclock I did overvolt the card you do get a warning about the over voltage say yes to it and I added 0.5 millivolts you have power target here as well as a temperature target you can choose which one you want to use you can also link them so they both come into play and you have a checkbox here to prioritize GPU temp so if the temps lower it can push the power limit just a little bit more and so here we have set this and you can adjust the temperature target temperature if you'd like I did leave this at default for my overclocking so I'm going to click apply on this to set these settings then I'm going to pull up heaven in windowed mode just so that we can take a run through it make sure that our overclock is stable one of the reasons we use heaven here is because it is one of the most demanding benchmarks out there as far as 
raising the temperature of the graphics card. So our settings, DirectX 11, quality high, tessellation normal, anti-aliasing 4, X4, and a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So one thing you can see, we've got our GPU clock changing to 1241 and our memory clock to 5500. I'm going to go ahead and click benchmark on this. Right now I'm going to stop the recording and then when the benchmark is complete I will bring up the recording again and show you the result to show you that it did in fact get through the benchmark without a problem. So here we have the results of the Heaven benchmark. As you can see, it completed successfully, and we got a frames per second of 34.7. So final, some final thoughts on these overclocking is that we get a really nice overclock out of the GeForce GTX 750 Ti graphics card. Um, the temperatures remain well within range, even with this overclocked. Granted, I did push the fan profile manually, though I really don't think you would need to do that uh, necessarily. I just wanted to make sure that my card stayed nice and cool while I was testing my overclocks. Definitely don't forget to check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com. Check out our other video on this GTX 750 Ti uh, with all the benchmarks in it and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.